welcome to my channel. Um, this is my first video. I'm going to do a little estate and thrift haul for you. It was nice to get back out after the quarantine. Um, did wear the appropriate masks, of course, and was safe. Uh, did get quite a few books, so I think I'll start with those. Not that I need any more books, but the first one I got was A Man and a Woman. I mostly got it for the cover. It's a little beat up, but I think I can restore that. I mostly, I'd like to more repurpose old books and give them a new life. So this one was published in um, 1918, I believe. Has a few nice plates in it. That of course I will try to keep back into the book. Um, yeah, 1918. Make a little book. Um, pages are kind of, yeah, they're kind of not very good, but maybe be able to back a few of them and keep some of them in the book. So I think that'll make a beautiful journal. Next one I got was the hive and the honeybee. And I want to do a bee journal. So I thought this was just perfect for it. The color, of course, the name, and it is about honeybees. So look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? This one was originally published in 1946. This copy is from 1975. It has lots of great images in it that I'll be able to incorporate into the journal. And of course, add my own. So yeah, that's gonna be a great bee journal. And then I got the Concert Companion. I love this one. I love the red, I love the blue, I love the design cover. Um, it's given to someone in Gary in 1952, but it was published in 1947, the copyright. So it's just about concerts. Just love the cover. Thought it'd be a beautiful, maybe music journal or all sorts, just kind of a little bit of everything in it. So that's going to definitely be one. And then I found the garden planner. Oh, this was, loved it. I was so happy I found this. Got wonderful images in it of course but then it has these beautiful flip cards that are just already tag size pocket size tuck size so and all these beautiful different images in it so I was so excited about this one and this one was published I don't think it was too old but loved it for the cards Yeah, it's from 2000, but uh, couldn't go wrong with those cards. Uh, the next book I got is I got the set of the Junior Instructors, book one and book two. These I got because I love to cut out the images and, of course, use them in journals. And these were from copyright 1916 originally, but this one was from 1962. So it just has a lot of cute images, sheet music, a little bit of everything in it book one and book two and I do love the covers it make a be a quite a large journal if you were to do one but I don't know we'll see what happens so look at those they're just gorgeous take them out and use them as pages in the journal or cut them out fussy cutting them so there's those Move those out the way then I got the Reader's Digest North American Wildlife and this one is definitely going to be a fussy cutting session because this has some beautiful images in it. This was from 1982 but it's got a little bit of everything from nature so the wildflowers, insects, fish, amphibians, birds. It's definitely going to be sitting down and a lot of fussy cutting in there or maybe just using the pages in a journal that one. Then I got the Robert Bateman, an artist in nature. This one was has beautiful images in it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I just couldn't leave it there. <laughs> so this one, it's not too old either. It's 1990, but the images are just gorgeous. Look at that. Hope y'all can see. Hope I'm in frame. Let me check here. Oh yeah. So we're good. Beautiful. And it's 
got also got some of, about him in the front and what he's done. So I love that one. Then I have found this one. This is huge. This is a large one. It's the Beatrix Product Giant Storybook. Let's see. That one, this one is big. This one is 15 and a half by 12. So it's this big and it has 10 different Beatrix Potter books in it. So it'll be gorgeous to use. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get this whole thing in frame, but it was published 1993. But I'm definitely going to use the images in a journal and I never can walk away from a Beatrix Potter book, so that one came home with me. Then I found just an old magazine, 1971, Good Housekeeping. I always like to, if I see old magazines, get them. I love to use the advertisements and in the different journals. So just got it mostly for the different ads and cut out to add to my journals. all for the book so then I got this whole box it was in a different box I kind of sorted through it so it's this whole box of cards and wrapping paper so I got all this together they just didn't care they were just like take it all and I was like okay so it's got all kinds of beautiful cards in it invitations envelopes more than I really needed but now I have it <laughs> for anything I might need it for Oh, there's some beautiful bird ones in here. Yeah, so look at those. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So, lots of those different bird journals, and then wrapping paper and some tissue paper. Can you see? Yeah. Wrapping paper, tissue paper, different stuff. I can use it as end papers in my books or just incorporate it in there, add it to pockets. So, yeah, so I've got all that. The way. And did find cards. I love playing cards. And I do have some on Etsy. So I do found some slides. So these ones still have some images in it. It's like they were like for my gas station. I don't know. The man helped sell it or what? Looks like different images, cars and automobiles. But these are the plastic slides. So I'll be able to use those in the journals. And then I found the actual mounts to still put the negatives in. So this was a whole box of the papers. So be able to use those in the journal. It's like a little tuck spot or pocket. Make little specimen cards. All kinds of fun stuff. Okay, we'll go together. We'll go over there. And then I said playing cards. These, of course, weren't old, but I love them and I want to do a money journal. I've been collecting stuff for money, so these are beautiful and fun. So those will go in my money journal. And I found this one, which it doesn't, looks can be deceiving, so it wasn't what it said on there. So it had these beautiful cards on the inside. And I love using playing cards just as journaling tags, tuck spots, just little fun things to tuck inside a journal. So I got those ones and I found these. These were gorgeous. Dance, dance and flowers. Can you see? Yeah, you can see them. So some more playing cards, some more flowers. These ones are all pretty old, pretty vintage. Anytime I see playing cards at estate sales or thrift stores, that have pretty images on. I like to collect them and bring them home. And then I found this one, which, which is, I didn't see any date on it. Maybe on the instructions here. Now 1951, 1938. These are kind of neat cards. because They're like, it's almost like domino styles cards. Not sure what the premise of the game was, but so it goes up 10, eight, it's all almost like domino style, but it has the same number on each card. So I thought those were neat. thought they'd be fun to add in a journal. There's that. 
What else did I get? Um, got some linens, but I'll go for this. And these are just some different index dividers. Like I said, love them to use to back things or as tabs. Some old blue, manila, and some green ones. So these are larger size. These ones have the letters. These ones are about eight by five, five by eight, eight by five. Yeah. Some smaller ones. This one has all the dates and the months. Just the older blue ones that make fun, like I said, tuck spots, tags. This one just had a whole bunch of manila ones in there. So, yes, that one I did pay a dollar for. I don't never, I don't ever pay a lot at the yard sales or, or estate sales. I always have the cheapest stuff where I go on the half price days or the 75% off days. Just got some label tags. Just fun to use, distress and use in a journal. So I've got that, that over there. And I found some different paper doilies. I haven't really seen the green ones, so I thought those were fun, cute. I don't know if they really have dates on it. And then just some white ones of different sizes. This is a six inch and four inch. Just in the white, just fun to back or do you do collages. And then I found these little, I guess, placemat something. Not quite sure what they were used for. Maybe placemats under a thing or maybe a dresser. But cut them and make them. Each little doilies, like I said, fun for backing or collaging. Or maybe adding for a tuck spot. Got those. Found these valances that I love. Can I see my thing? I love this design on them. So I don't know if you can see it here. Let's see if I can get something behind it. So I love that. Be able to cut that and back it on something to make a little tuck spot or a little corner or embellishment on something. Or even maybe on the cover. So those were definitely be getting cut up and there's quite a few designs on it. Both sides. There and there was three of them. So that was fine. And then my final thing is this gorgeous tablecloth, which will unfortunately be getting cut up, but I love it. It's huge too. So it has these beautiful bird designs and flowers. And it's, it is huge. So it's really long. Let me get it out here. So it has it all the way across in both sides. And then the corners have these gorgeous bird designs. So we able to cut that and back it, make it a nice little fabric tuck. And then of course the rest of it is great material for using, collaging, reinforcing a spine. Anywho, all of that. So only got to go to a few. I think I got to like three estate sales and maybe two or three thrift stores that I saw on the way because we went to a different area. It's what we love to do on the weekend. So appreciate you stopping by and watching the video. It was nice visiting with you and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.